So on Sports Center today, T. Higgins and Jamar Chase was asked about who they think will be in the upcoming Super Bowl. And obviously, listen, at the end of the day, you know, whoever wins it is going to win it, right? We can't control whether or not we want that team to win and we don't want that team to win. And, you know, it is what it is. But I really like Jamar Chase's response. And if I had to be honest, like who I thought was in the Super Bowl or going to be in the Super Bowl, I think it's going to be Ravens, Niners, and I think the Ravens are going to win. I, I, I don't like it. I hate it. But it is what it is, you know? Can't really change anything. So let's go ahead and listen up to what Chase and what T has to say. you guys think are going to go to the Super Bowl? Jamar, you go first. Who's going to the Super Bowl, an AFC, NFC team? Uh, anybody but the Chiefs. Anybody? 1,000%. That's my boy, Jamar Chase, right there. That's my boy. Anyone but the Chiefs. I swear, when everything the Chiefs wanted this year, they're going to be even more insufferable. We knocked out the Bengals. We knocked out the Bengals. And then we won. The best thing possible this year is if the Chiefs lose in the first round to the Dolphins and they go one and done. That would be hilarious. Jeez, I love it. T, what about you? I'm going I'm to I'm keep it in a division and I'm going to go Ravens. Okay. What about NFC? Uh, either, uh, I got Cowboys or 49ers. Cowboys or Niners. I love it. Uh, Jamar Chase. Everybody want that to see. What'd you say, Jamar? Everybody want to see that one. I will say, though, if it's Ravens, Cowboys, the Cowboys fans are going to be insufferable. You know, so I really don't know if I want the Cowboys. If I, if I list off all the teams and which team I'd be okay with going to the Super Bowl, the Ravens, I don't want them to, but at the same time, it's whatever. You know, they're the best team in the league. They're probably going to go there. But the Bills, I wouldn't mind the Bills going. If they lost, it would be even funnier because now they have five Super Bowl losses. And at some point, they're going to tie the record for like the most Super Bowl losses um, in history. They currently have never won one. They lost four in a row. Now this will be the fifth one loss. <laughs> and then... Who else? The AFC-wise, Chiefs, I don't want them to win at all. Texans, I wouldn't mind the Texans. They're another team I feel like that would be interesting. Dolphins, I would actually like to see that. I think Dolphins would be a cool team to win it. Steelers, absolutely no. And Browns, absolutely no. And then for the NFC, I really don't care. I really don't care what NFC team makes it or wins it. Except for the Cowboys, that's the only team I wouldn't want to win it. And it's not even because I hate the Cowboys. I just don't like the fans. I think the fans would be insufferable. So, although, I will say my last statement on that is that if Jerry Jones does go ahead and at least gets one more ring before he passed away, I think that would be nice. But it is what it is. So the next thing I'm going to talk about here is actually T. Higgins. And he's, uh, he was asked about the potential of Brian Callahan going to the Titans. Now, Pete Carroll was just fired, okay? You have Mike Ravel who was fired. Arthur Smith was fired. You have a lot of coaches who got let go. And because of that, there's a lot of vacancies at the head coaching positions. Talk about the other day, how the Chargers, and I actually was incorrect on this, the, um, <coughs> the Chargers requested to talk to Brian Callahan. The Panthers requested to talk to Brian Callahan. And now, obviously, the Titans potentially could request to talk to Brian Callahan. You got three teams now that potentially could try to acquire Brian Callahan. But there's also Jim Hardball, who could potentially go to the NFL again from college. You obviously have, you know, Mike Ravel. You have Pete Carroll. You have all these other guys' potentials that could be filling these spots. So, if, you know, Brian Callahan does end up leaving us... And he goes to get a head coaching job somewhere. <laughs> you know, best of luck. I hope we're able to get a really good offense, new offense coordinator who's an offensive mind guy. I know a lot of people told me down below it's probably going to be Dan Pitcher who they just elevate up because they like to do it inside their, you know, inside the business. It's elevate guys up that way. Which there's a good chance that that will end up happening and we won't get a new guy. We'll just get Dan Pitcher. Um, I would love to think that we'd go out there and actually get someone maybe more offensive minded, but... It is what it is. And yeah, so here's what T had to say about it. He's a player first coach. He's all about making his players happy. He's a family man. He treats us like one of his own. 
Great guy and outstanding coach at the end of the day. I will say what's funny. He didn't really... and th th I, I think he's just trying to really home in on the fact that he's a great person. But, like, he didn't, like, home in on the fact that he's a great coach. Like, he says great coach... Outstanding coach at the end of the day. Which, obviously, even if he was, like, a mediocre play caller... All the factors together makes him a great coach at the end of the day. He didn't really home in the fact that he's a great play caller. Which, obviously, this year was kind of lackluster, let's be honest. But... It's kind of funny how he kind of like gave him a compliment, but any of a compliment that you would be looking for as a team, right? If you're going for a head coaching job, you're not looking for a guy. I mean, you're looking for a guy who's a great guy and a family man and make his players happy. But at the end of the day, number one is definitely going to be, you know, the best coach, the best coordinator, the best, you know, leader of his guys. So it's funny how... He, def he definitely gave him compliments, but he's just like, he left out one of the most important position parts of the coaching job, which is, hey man, how good of a coach is he? Like, you know, like coordinator wise. But at the end of the day, again, like I said, you know, I guess if you are going for a head coaching job, you are looking for the qualities that T. Higgins did go ahead and mention. So if he leaves, he leaves. It is what it is, guys. Tell me down below your thoughts, opinions. See you guys in the next one.